Living life. Culture switching is the best way to learn. It is about discovering that not only one's own culture is fluid, but also that there is no standard culture, just a colorful bouquet. I think most people assume that switching cultures means living in some other country for a bit, but moving around is just as good. The point is not to be glued to a single spot, but continue adapting to as many as possible. Moreover, changing the way we live life is just as good. Spending half a year traveling the Appalachian Trail is the most powerful example. Above all, going to sleep when it gets dark and rising to watch the sunrise is a great treasure that brings great health and strength. Going forward every day and slowing down to match the pace of nature helps people have long thoughts and connects all their dots together. Discomfort is not part of learning and growing or healing. It is just that we must not succumb to fear and imaginary dragons. Doing new things is not perfect, but it is not discomfort. Discomfort is when someone is hurting you or life is crushing you. These are the situations that require drastic changes. Not just a set of changes, but a long-term series of changes. Some people, presumably at least armchair psychologists, say that we end up using a more logical side of our brain. But I'm sure that our brains are infinitely more complex than that, and what is actually going on is that we are leaving a kind of depression behind. One of our main missions in life is to live it to its fullest, because life is precious. And that includes living in balance with nature, wisdom, and universe. And while I do admit that this sounds a wee bit hokey, the best way to personally explore ideas behind health and balance is to try to imagine your elder selves. Let's say 85 and a half years young. It is hard to deny that no one is more connected to the elder you than you right now. You can try to project your predispositions and try to imagine what the elder you is like. Our energy is found in balanced living. We have to move away from stress and depression and overwork. Our intelligence and creativity, our memory and ability to learn and read books requires that we take really good care of ourselves. In school or at work, you will find yourself facing what I would call profit optimization. Mediocre teachers will want a perfect mediocre score, one that is slightly above their last year's statistics so that they may show some measure of improvement. The average employer wants you to do more for less, or to get more out of you without investing more into you. And that means pushing you past your healthy balance, encouraging use of medications that help you with temporary memory at school, and whatever pushes you into overwork and overperforming at work. If you don't do that, you will be replaced by someone who is willing to live sick for the minimum you get paid, or even less. Allow me to digress and say that to deal with both of these issues in a healthy fashion, you can self-educate and aim to build a series of startups. Now, when building your companies, you will be tasked with not pushing yourself. While it is easier to overwork in short term, it is not worth it in long term. You need heart and soul and long visions and long thoughts 
to craft your own future. And being stressed, depressed, and overworked will only take those powers away from you. Living healthy should be the easiest thing for you. Cramming, overworking, stressing, depressing, and squeezing every last bit of energy out of yourself ought to be the more difficult path. Just listen to what I'm saying. When you are healthy and in balance with yourself or with nature, whatever you conceive it to be, you are at your most intelligent and most creative and strongest self. You are also most beautiful, and I'm sure at your funniest, in that worst of ways where no one is sure if you are joking or dead serious. One of the ways to connect with your elder self is to make them better, is to grant them outrageous gifts from your youth, even if just to remind them who the boss really is, or to make them smile and wonder. Great beings often appear slightly odd and confusingly funny just because of that. They are sending a message into their own future to guarantee the health of their elder selves. Culture switching helps a person become unstuck. It exposes them to new experiences and removes old discomforts and often making them more courageous. It is important to read books, and that means to live in a state that is conducive to inheriting lifetimes of knowledge held within. And that state just can't be found at places that aim to push you out of balance for their own profit. I know this sounds terrible, but this is just a call to rising, to self-balancing, to becoming an independent thinker, creator, and entrepreneur, to leaving all influences, whether perceptible or obscured, behind you in a blur of a series of challenges. With each new step, you will learn new things. With each new culture, you will become more illuminated. And with each new endeavor, you will become greater.